in a public square mm -hmm. where people have to walk and go about their business. And what's the difference if it's in a public museum versus a public square? You have the option to see it. Because I feel, like I said, these these statues and, and things like this can be traumatic for people to be forced to look at them, to be forced to reminded every single time you have to go to the store versus, okay, I'm going to take my kids to the museum because this is important. We need to learn about this. And so he encountered Roosevelt's statue in the museum. Outside of the museum. Oh, outside of, well, mm -hmm. let's say it was in the foyer. But it also was a choice to go to the museum. Just making it complicated for you. <laughs> so, can I play devil's advocate? Sure. Okay. So, I don't really believe. I, I'm a northerner. <laughs> uh, and, and, I, and I, and so I don't, the Confederate thing, I, I think I understand it somewhat, but uh, certainly in a different way. But let's say, let's say, well, you know, in that painting there, you've marginalized that, that black woman. Right, in that painting, the Hall's painting. She's been marginalized. She's been put into a kind of a fringe place, obviously of less importance. So now you're going to take my history, my, say, Southern history, my pride, my, my sense of, of, well, I'm not saying everything is great about the whole Confederate thing, but it's like, that's, that's, my, that's my culture, my history, and now you're going to take it out, so you've now marginalized me. So we've, we've, we've dealt with one marginalization by marginalizing somebody else. That is a question That's that I had discussion. written down. Is I think, uh, let me refer to this. Um, do you see a correlation? Okay, back up. Um, so the story resonated with me because of the story of Charles White in the library, and him going to the library and not seeing representation, and him talking about that in his art class. Mm -hmm. um, today, you know, it seems like this experience is kind of timeless, right? Um, there's an active movement to increase representation, but culturally, this is also being pushed back upon. Um, do you see a correlation between the historical representation of black people, the painting that he d talked about, and this modern issue that we're talking about, because these statues are borderline of one thing, right? There's not variation in it. And do you feel that, you know, the people you're talking about, Southern people, white people, whatever you want to say, who are threat, are being threatened by representation of different cultures because they believe their identity is being erased? I think our current polarization is intensifying feelings either way. I mean, we should have both represented without a big argument ensuing. Um, but that's not our world today. And my question is, how do we get to that place where someone can uh, put a statue, put a painting that is their belief and it's been approved, et cetera, et cetera, and it's accepted by people, just as the one is accepted by someone. I think there's got to be some truth involved, but if that's the truth for many, it, either one should be allowed. So as far as the statue, maybe there could be in another part of the park, another step. But you know, then you get into, well, that's your statue. That's how many, how many exactly. are Exactly. So I just feel like any, we, it's because of the nature of our society right now. Or during these. I don't think it's right now. No, I think it's well,